Alright guys, so a majority of this is going to be out of focus for me, but in focus for this. Um, this is the Smock RPM um, pod that supports the RBA. Um, a lot of people were wondering, well, I mean, how do you pre-fire the coil because it has to go in this thing? So I want to do a quick video just to show you how I do it. So what we've got installed in here is a little micro spaced alien. Um, that is a 3038, four wrap, two mil. And um, yeah, I mean, it could look cleaner, but it's extremely hard to chase this deck around considering it's not fixed in anything. Um, leads fit under the screws, kind of, but it works. It works because I have vaped nearly 60 mils on a single wick and just broke it down to clean it up today. So what I do is I'll put the base back in and if you look through that little window you want to really focus on not getting this too hot because you're going to burn your mouthpiece but um, you basically just watch through the window and make sure that you don't have any hot spots. I check both sides And just validate everything is heating up as it should. I've already cleaned this coil, um, which honestly wasn't bad at all considering 60 mils of juice. But position of the coil is right over that airflow. And it actually provides a little bit more restricted draw than the um, direct lung mesh coil that comes with it. So 60 mils, one rewick and a tiny little piece of cotton. That's it. All right, our next step is we are going to re-wick this itty bitty little tiny deck. And it is tiny. I think that's my pinky. <laughs> um, so two mil coil doesn't require very much cotton at all. I use Moji pads. So we're just going to cut a little strip. About two and a half to three millimeters in width. Little strip. We're going to peel the ends off or the outsides off for that matter. Um, my first go with this thing, with the, the rebuildable section, was flawless. So all I'm going to do is shoot to repeat what I did the first time, and hopefully we'll be good. This might be a little much. But... Yep. We'll just remove some. A nice thing with a spaced coil is that you get virtually no hot spots because hot spots are created when you have a contact coil. So, so long as you got some spacing, and it doesn't have to be even or perfect, as long as you have some spacing, you're good to go. Whenever you're rewicking, you always want to make sure you got clean hands. You don't want to vape whatever's on your hands, even if it's just oil or whatever. Oils from your skin. Trying to get just the right amount of cotton here. There we go. So, not a lot of resistance. Just a little, little bit of resistance. Just like anything, really. Gonna eyeball one side just to see, just to see here, a little bit past. It's uh, 
Let's zoom this out a little bit. So, what you're looking for is you want your cotton to hit the wick port that's down here on the side. Right there. So I'm going to aim to cut it just about at the top of this red o-ring right here. Perfect. What we're going to do now is take our little leg of cotton. We're gonna poke her down in the wick port. We're gonna pretty up, pretty it up after here. Perfect. Nice little bit of cotton, just keeping uh, keeping the deck from getting flooded. And we're gonna come over to the other side and repeat. Check our length. Length is good. <clears throat> Much like anything, you don't really want to pack your cotton in there. And you just want to get it where it needs to be. And that's it. So I'm going to show you underneath here. That's your airflow port. So on the two sides of it, you'll see that there's a metal edge. Just make sure that your cotton that runs under that area is not in that airport. Otherwise, you could have a little bit of seep, a little bit of weep. Other than that, we're good to go. That is how I rewick the RBA section from Smock.